If you've been playing Genshin Impact for a while and specifically looked at guides for the Spiral Abyss, you may have heard the term iframe. Most people playing Genshin pro probably never heard the term before and have no idea what it means. Time to learn. First place. My name's Stars Blamo, and this is my beginner's guide to iframe. Iframe window is a period of time in which your character will be invulnerable to damage. In Genshin Impact, iframe windows can be triggered in several ways. One, elemental bursts. Two, mashing. And three, swapping characters. Going over the first method first, every elemental burst in the game has an iframe window. Some have shorter windows than others, but they all have one. Typically, the elemental bursts with a close-up shot of the character casting it have longer iframe windows than those without one. Every 5-star character in the game, excluding the Traveler and Barbara, has this kind of close-up shot when using their burst. Now, that isn't to say elemental bursts without close-up shots don't have long iframe windows. In fact, Shenling has one of the longest iframe windows for a burst in the game. However, generally, elemental bursts with a close-up shot will have a longer iframe window than those without one. single character I don't really suggest using the iframe with her, their burst is Fischl. Contrary to several forum and reddit posts I've seen, Fischl does actually have an iframe window in her burst. It occurs when she initially casts it. However, this window is extremely short, so short that it's actually better to dash since the iframe window is longer for dashing compared to her burst. This leads to our second method for iframing, dashing. Every character can use this, and iframe windows are approximately equal, with slight timing differences between characters such as Ayaka and Mona. Plenty of better YouTubers and players have already made posts regarding the window time, so I won't talk about that here. All you really need to know is that dashing can reliably produce iframes and be used to dodge various attacks. I can't say the same about the third method in terms of reliability. While it is true that you can produce iframes by swapping characters, this method is highly dependent on the stability of your internet connection. If you've ever had extremely large lag spikes, you know that swapping to a character can become impossible. Even a tiny lag spike can mess up with the timing for iframe. Well, unless you have an extremely stable internet connection, I wouldn't recommend using this method to iframe whatsoever and just stick with the less ping dependent methods. Sounds fairly simple on paper, doesn't it? It was certain action be invincible for a bit. It's still a simple five year old could understand it. But it's a lot more nuanced than that. You can't just activate your elemental burst at any point in time, hope the enemy attacks during the animation for it. Iframing properly requires you as the player to gain some kind of intuition for enemy attacks and figuring out their attack pattern. Timing is especially important as some iframe windows are in the tenths of seconds. With that, there are some areas and bosses that you can get good practice against. Starting off, floors 1 through 8 in the Spiral Abyss will be a good place to practice. You don't need to use food when you get damaged, and there are plenty of varied mechanics to keep you satisfied. The crowd I just find would be the next place to go. Its attack patterns will be a little bit more difficult to iframe through, but its attacks shouldn't do too much damage. Alex Phase 3 is one more step up from there. His attacks are telegraphed and hit pretty hard, so if you make a mistake, you'll know. Once you learn how to deal with him, Magu Kenki is the last stop. Magu Kenki will be very difficult the first time around, especially as you get used to his attack patterns and damage radius. I don't suggest practicing against this boss until you can at least do travel without taking much damage, as Magu Kenki can and will tear unprepared players to shreds. Keep in mind that the main purpose of iframing is so that you can deal more damage. Some moves are better to dodge normally, while other times you want to stay close and iframe to maximize damage. With that, I hope this video was at least somewhat useful to you. I know it can be difficult to get a hang of iframes, especially if you haven't played games that had this mechanic. Don't worry, everyone else, everyone has to start somewhere. Quick thank you to Zeriko for discussing this video topic with me, as well as providing many helpful suggestions. If you have any comments or questions about the video, please leave a comment in the comment section down below. And I hope you enjoyed, and see you next time.